Husha Hosea 10. Yashadael is an empty vine. He brings forth fruit unto himself. According to the multitude of his fruit, he has increased the altars. According to the goodness of his land, they have made goodly images. Their heart is divided. Now shall they be found faulty. He shall break down their altars. He shall spoil their images. For now they shall say, We have no king, because we feared not. Eth, Yahua. What then should a king do to us? They have spoken words, swearing falsely in cutting a covenant. Thus judgment springs up as hemlock in the furrows of the field. The inhabitants of Shomaron shall fear because of the calves of Beit Aven, for the people thereof shall mourn over it, and the priests thereof that rejoiced on it for the glory thereof because it is departed from it. It shall be also carried unto Ashur for a present to King Yarev. Ephraim shall receive shame, and Yashadael shall be ashamed of his own counsel. As for Shomoron, her king is cut off as the foam upon the water. The high places also of Aven, the sin of Yashadael, shall be destroyed. The thorn and the thistle shall come up on their altars, and they shall say to the mountains, Cover us, and to the hills, Fall on us. O Yashadael, you have sinned from the days of Giva. There they stood. The battle in Giva against the children of iniquity did not overtake them. It is in my desire that I should chastise them, and the people shall be gathered against them when they shall bind themselves in their two furrows. And Ephraim is as a heifer that is taught, and loves to tread out the grain But I passed over upon her fair neck. I will make Ephraim to ride. Yahuda shall plow, and Yahachov shall break his clods. Sow to yourselves in righteousness. Reap in mercy. Break up your fallow ground. For it is time to seek eth Yahua till he come and rain righteousness upon you. Ye have plowed wickedness, ye have reaped iniquity, ye have eaten the fruit of lies, because you trusted in your way, in the multitude of your mighty men. Therefore shall a tumult arise among your people, and all your fortresses shall be spoiled as Shalman spoiled Beat Arbel in the day of battle. The mother was dashed in pieces upon her children. So shall Beat El do unto you because of your great wickedness. In a morning shall the king of Yashadael utterly be cut off.